color wise, detail wise, yeah, it's pretty on par. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody, to the Collecting Brothers. John, this is Josh. Welcome back, friends. We are going to be covering all the news from Hasbro PulseCon. We are going over to the Transformers world here. Transformers more than meets the eyes. We're going to kind of go over like the different classes that they kind of revealed here. But here we have some deluxe classes that we're going to go over. First up here is Wheeljack. Um, and he comes with that broken, you know, like broken uh, armor, you know, where he's damaged. I do love the the alt version here or the alt alt mode here with the car. You dig that, but it is just that little deluxe class. Okay. Yeah, so these are the twenty five dollar price range figures, mm-hmm. and with this, it's one of the. I mean, it's 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 a mold we've seen quite a bit, but honestly, it's one of the funnest molds to transform back and forth. I think yeah. it's just the simplest. Yeah, it's a really fun mold to transform, and <laughs> it's really cool to see. You know, it's not like the. You know, previously when we see the battle damage, they would do like the shattered glass, whereas this is like a gash within like the metal, what would be metal, right? Plate, which yeah. we haven't seen. So it's a cool new effect to, to get, you know. I like it. It just adds more like playability. You know, you can have him battling, you can have like, something happen to him against another person. But under the other one here is Breakdown. Again, really cool cars, man. I like when they do like kind of the futuristic sleek cars, <laughs> you know, like those supercars. Yeah, almost like the synth wave or cyberpunk aesthetic. Both of these kind of <laughs> this fit one that, for, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, it just lends it to you know, it lends it to when it's like, it's like a retro but futuristic aesthetic, which I feel mm-hmm. like Transformers is. Yeah, it's, you know, it's definitely that like it's like you know late eighties, early nineties, you know, vibes. Uh, next one here is Autobot Cosmos. I like this guy. He's just a, literally a landmine. Looks like to me. But yeah, definitely... remember we got this. We got the same old. I, I, probably his different name. They're probably like this one's mm-hmm. like yeah, but it's just a cool little guy. Like I love how chunky he is, and he like boxy. Yeah, and I like that he comes with a little checkered flag too. That's fun. So, so yeah, Cosmos again, Breakdown as well as Wheeljack as the deluxe class for the Transformer figures. Not bad. Let's keep going though for the leader class figures into here first one we're going to look at here is overcharge and this is the three-in-one combos so there, there's three different modes within this transformer that you can produce uh, so the first one's going to be this cool tank with the, the little translucent red you know missile launchers you're also getting the jet version where the tank's like you know hiding all the way underneath <laughs> as well as just also the robot mode as well so. yeah with this one you know they re- they're reusing this mold we've kind of seen this a couple times with like mm. who was it thundercracker or whatever or i can't remember who it was but the sucky thing about this is because it's a triple changer <laughs> this is a leader class right so it's going to be 55 dollars yeah. per figure and this is a very small leader class like the the figure because it's a triple changer it sacrifices yeah. a lot of its size and a lot of the pieces you know don't even make it onto the figure like those missiles so like there's more it's there are more accessories than the actual figure. And so because you're getting those that little those little red missile launchers, then they just say, Oh, it's leader class. But I always felt this <laughs> is this has a very small size for leader class. Okay. Okay. Yeah, on the small side. Uh the next one though is shuttle, galaxy shuttle. This one's cool. I like this, you know, the space shuttle vibes for it. But it also comes in at like a train alt mode as well. <laughs> that is way cool. The locomotive attachments that really changes the look and, and works very well yeah and i think they're like inverting it somehow right like i don't know like you know because that's why mostly why when you invert it you can get the yeah. black i'm not sure but, exactly yeah. yeah and the cool too like the the launch pad here for the shuttle is turns into like you know the coal car <laughs> for the for the, train. the caboose yeah, yeah <laughs> no honestly this is a good leader class especially getting the astro train mold and it's a, it's a it's a sizable it's it's bigger oh. than the other one you know because it's not a triple changer yeah. well uh, technically, technically it is technically, technically it is, it is right? dude technically it is with the actually yeah it is it says three and one and it has that train mode so it's just an inversion of the you know the, yeah. the same silhouette so all right let's keep going though we got some voyager class friends here looking cool these are the big boys of course we got tarn i do like this mold personally i like the alt mode just super cool future tank futures tankers and but also like the slenderness of this of this uh this robot mode too yeah and to get that like actual decepticon logo head that's it's true. very cool yeah and and so these ones are the voyager class and so these are gonna be the 35 dollar price range this one's fun next up though we got ramjet a little jet boy 
Yeah, I don't know. You know it's just <laughs> it's like it's like the same thing. I feel like with like uh, Star Wars clones. You know, it's like <laughs> who doesn't love Seekers? Who doesn't love the Conehead Seekers? You can get them in any colors. Mm-hmm. Star the Star Scream and any kind of the Seeker molds. They just work. The their alt mode works. The robot mode works. So who cares? Yeah, like More not colors. much else to say. Besides, yeah. you know, it's another version of that. But yeah, some fun colors with a little bit of that translucent uh, canopy as well. All right, let's get into the Origins Bumblebee here. I love this uh, aesthetic here, this this alt mode for Bumblebee here. Where you get that, you know, very UFO shape <laughs> for him. Just, you know, classic, classic Bumblebee. Here. Yeah, I think we've gotten this before. Like, I, I swear this was like a Target exclusive or something mm, like okay. that. And it doesn't look like anything's even changed at all besides maybe like an extra gun attachment. <laughs> but besides that, yeah. Besides that, though, like the robot mode, it's like your perfect Bumblebee. Like, if you don't have you know a g1 bumblebee this is this is it yeah for sure all right let's get into a pulse gun exclusive here this is the uh dino king kind of like you know like a zord you put together here looks it's fun i think that i love that concept i think that's just because i love power rangers but i love being able to put you know all the transformer figures together to make a giant robot but then they're all, all separated dino bots just coming in yeah it's a cool concept and i don't i don't fault them in any way for it but it just because think about it the little micro transformers they have to transform into a robot mode plus a dino mode plus then have to combine to make a figure so it's like because of that you know it's kind of wonky like you see there's really the massive gaps within the shoulders where normally you'd want you know more true, bulk yeah. in the shoulders and you know and even in like it's just going to be awkward like the big thing's awkward but you understand it because this thing has to have three different forms right to pull off each each uh, aesthetic yeah all right but there is that dino king next up this is a sentinel prime this is coming from this transformer studio series this i love the colors on this you know a little bit more like uh cartoonish on the aesthetic but you know, i'm okay with it yeah it's definitely like taking more of the transformers prime some more like the newer mm-hmm. cartoons right where it's the it almost feels like the angles of like the the designs are like exaggerated, so it's like swooshier. Right. Okay. It's just more exaggerated. Okay, all right. But there's that Sentinel Prime. Let's get into some something I want to talk. About. What I'm excited about some Transformers One figures, man. I was really hoping that the Transformers team were going to be dropping some news on the you know, some figures, of course, because the movie's coming out or it has come out. I'm not sure, but but yeah, they gave us uh, some MD with three zero. Transformers, Optimus Prime, or Orion Pax. You can transform him into, or switch out his pieces, excuse me, to Optimus Prime, right? Because um, Transformer 1 is the origin story, and this this looks fun, dude. Um, and it is at 3-0, so it is a little bit higher in the price point, but, I mean, these are nice figures. It's just going to be tremendous paint apps, right? Like that it looks like, it looks like metal. It's nice and shiny, and it's going to articulate very well. Yeah, yeah, and I believe on these they do use like a metal endoskeleton, so the the framing is all metal and stuff there. But we're also getting D sixteen or Megatron, and it is you know that the Transformers want to look right. Like I like how like bigger like long legs, how big his legs are, you know, and how long they are. He's coming loaded with weapons too, which is appropriate, I think. And we're also getting an RC, which looks good, looking good there, and rounding out the team there on the MDLX with Bumblebee. I don't, his name isn't Bumblebee, right? But yeah, but yeah. What do you think of Josh on these? They're cool. It's just like hard to know without seeing the movie whether I'm a, like I'm interested enough to get these. You know what I'm saying? Because like okay. they're it is a cool concept, but you know it all. I think it ultimately depends on the movie whether I feel like these are going to sell or not. Yeah, exactly right. Because that's true. There's so much. There's or we already like everybody already has. I feel like an RC, a Bumblebee, a Transformer, an Optus Prime, like these are the big four, right? Yeah, we have these figures in multiple iterations by now, and so for me to buy another more expensive iteration of these characters, that movie's got to that movie's got to go hard. <laughs> From what I've heard, it does. We'll see though. I haven't seen it, so that's the uh, right. that, that's the one they paid the reviewer they paid. That's the one. That's the one, the early review, the paid early review. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't trust no reviews anymore. But uh, Hasbro is also going to be doing their own Transformer One figures as well too. Um, it's not just going to be three zero, so you can get them at that lower price point from hasbro you know and they do transform which is it's just cool as well so here's just a few shots of what they had at PulseCon. we didn't get any like official pictures so this is what we're going to be working with right now 
And these look way good. Like just from what we're seeing, it's almost like, yeah, the MDLX is nice and they have that more metal coating and metal pieces. Mm -hmm. But honestly, these look just as good to me and they still have that shine, right? Not as good as the yeah. MDLX, yeah. but the shine's still coming through. Yeah, like the RC looks pretty close to what, you know, color-wise, what the MDLX is putting out. Color-wise, detail-wise, yeah, it's pretty on par. And we know these are probably going to be 25 bucks, so. Yeah, so be on the lookout for those, but... That will go ahead and wrap up the Transformer news from Hasbro PulseCon. A lot of fun things there. I'm excited for that Transformers one. Thank you, friends, for joining us. But while we're going to be picking our pick of the week, let us know down below your pick of the week. Josh, which Transformer from the reveals or from what they showed today that you like? Um, I don't know. Nothing really stood out, honestly. Like, mm -hmm, Okay. Pretty Not galaxy shuttle turns into a train. <laughs> I think the problem with me, you know, is like I usually get excited with new molds. Like that's what okay. makes me want to buy another transformer. Whereas like a lot of these are just kind of reskins, of course, besides the Transformers one movie. But like I said, oh, right, right, yeah. without having seen the movie, I just don't even know if I want them. Um, no connection to the property yet or to yeah. those characters. Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna have to give it to the freaking mine, even though that's reused. I don't even care. The guy, the guy transforms into a landmine. <laughs> yeah, Cosmos, dude. I'll give it to him. Yeah, we'll give it to Cosmos there. For me, I'm just excited, man. I I, I want to really see that Transformers one, so I'm gonna give it to the. I'll give it to D16, MDLX Megatron. That's what I'll give it to my my pick from this episode today, <laughs> from the Transformers Hasbro PulseCon uh, reveals. So let us know down below, friends, your pick. And as always, keep collecting, keep playing. May the action figure gods smile upon you. Peace. <laughs>